Hi, in this video we will talk about uh, Query Observer in React Query. Um, React provides us a class uh, Query Observer through which we can observe any query we want uh, anywhere in our application. Um, even if you know there is a query which is being called in one area of the, of the application, if you want to observe it, that is we want to see, uh, we want to basically see whenever you know the data changes or something or we want to you know do an operation based on the updated data then we can use the query observer to uh, implement that um, let's see this example um, there is a users list and these users are fetched from the uh, let me refresh these users are fetched from the json uh, placeholder api from the users endpoint and there are 10 users and then um, there is a post endpoint where I send a user ID and then you know basically it fetches the post based on that user ID you sent right now there is no user selected so it's undefined but if I select a you click a user select a user that is this then you know I send the ID and I got these posts now I basically want to observe this query um, because you know this query has variable um, IDs, you know, uh, if I click on this, then it's sending a ID of two. So what I would want is I would basically The goal of this uh, video is to make a query observer which would observe the data Which would basically observe this post query, you know, it would basically um, Trigger a function whenever um, this uh, changes basically this data so let's see um here I have the query for the users and then here I have the query for the post. So <coughs> the query key for this is post by ID and then the ID so that it can be differentiated for um, each user ID post. And then this is the function which is bringing the um, post for the user ID. This <coughs> I'm sending in uh, a request uh, using Axios and then returning the data. and you know the, i'm mapping these posts here so what i would want is i would want to make a query observer where i could uh, basically observe this so let's make a component separate component let's call it const listener and then the listener would basically have an id prop so that i can observe the query for that particular uh, id and then i would basically say const query client is equal to use query client because i need the query client for the observer and i would say const observer is equal to new query observer the first param would be the query client and then the next param would be an object where i would pass the query key and query function so the query key would be same as the query which i want to observe so this and the query function would be this particular function which uh, i am i have passed for the query itself so the same function would go here and now i would call its method observer dot subscribe so basically this would subscribe to any changes that would happen with this particular query key and i can say data and i can console log the data yeah so now if i know i've uh, haven't used the component so if i bring it here pass the id oh also have to return null so that it's looks like a component yeah let's change the type to number one undefined cool so now if i let's refresh it let's go to the console um right now it says data status loading is success let's remove it now whenever i would basically click on it uh, the user and the query would change because i'm passing the id um, 
when I change the ID, then this particular query ran. This particular query, and as I had observer with the same query key, the subscribe method um, of the query observer got triggered, and it gave me the updated data here. So whenever I would you know um, run the query for the post, as I am doing right now, um, the data. Uh, the subscribe function would be <coughs> triggered and it would <coughs> give me the, whatever the updated data is so the data wouldn't just be the data it would be basically <coughs> uh, the status is loading is success is error whatever you would um, basically uh, return from use query and also the data itself so this is the data so yeah um uh this uh, using this method you can you know observe any query and this is basically uh, uh, resting within the same component but you can use a um, state management library like recoil or redux and have it you know uh, if the query key is dependent on some variable have it present anywhere in the app and use recoil or redux to pass that variable on the query if the query key is static then you know you don't need any um uh, state management library to do that you can literally put it the listener the query observer anywhere in the app and it would um, trigger the subscribe uh, method whenever you know this query changes this query gets triggered so yeah, uh, this was the tutorial if you like it uh, you can like and subscribe and comment down below you know also if you want any further react uh, query tutorial you can uh, request it and uh, i will see you in the next tutorial bye